All right, so before I start this video, if you guys have any bread laying around and want to buy any high overall account, hit up Legit Accounts, tell them I sent you, and the link will be down in the description. And also, if you guys want to buy cheap my team coins at a 5% off discounted rate, use my code UNDERRATED, and the link will be down in the description if you're interested or if you have any questions. All right, so what's good, you 2 I'm back with another video. I didn't add my normal intro in only because that comment right there kind of it kind of triggered me. But at the same time, I can't let that get to me. But I post so many different videos. Like the only reason I post, I'm posting this video again is because I still get comments asking if it works. And there's a faster method into doing this. And I also got more banging, like banger glitches coming out really soon that nobody really even knows about. So just stay tuned for that. I don't post the same stuff. So like, I have a mixtape coming out next week. So like, it's gonna be lit. But I just wanted to get that out the way so you guys like don't get the wrong idea. But if you guys are new to this glitch, or even if you're not new to the glitch, you don't have to run the treadmill, but you do have to do something else in between that takes, it's, it's so much faster than the treadmill method. But if you're new to the glitch, all you have to do first is play a regular My Career game, all right? And then you have to be up or down by 25 points somewhere in the third or fourth quarter. Or if you don't want to be up by 25, because that kind of is a lot of points, you can just foul out. And if you guys don't understand what I'm saying, just skip to 4 minutes and 13 seconds, because I'll show you guys like how, the way I did it, which I just fouled out. So just skip to 4 minutes and 13 seconds for the next step. All right, so as you guys can see right here, I do have five fouls. And the only reason I'm fouling out is because if you don't foul out, you have to end up with 25 plus points. But once you get the five fouls or you're up by 25 points, you're gonna wanna sim out or save and quit your My Career game. Don't sim out with VC yet, but you wanna save and quit your My Career game. And for those of you guys that aren't new to the glitch, you already know what else to do. You have to save it to your USB or online storage. But if you are new to this glitch, then what you need to do is you need to go to the settings and go to application management. And then once you get there, you don't even need a USB, 
but in my case I don't have PlayStation Plus on my account I use my brothers so I have to get a USB which I do have a USB so just save that my player data onto the USB which you can see that I'm about to do right now once you save it on the USB that's the main part right there if you don't save it on the USB then you can't reload your my player over and over and over to get that badge progress so just save it onto the USB and once you do that all you have to do is load back into your player and then if you're up by 25 points then you get sim out with VC but for me I, I had to foul out. I had to get my six foul, but for some reason it was glitching, so I had to get seven fouls to foul out, which is not normal at all. For you guys, it should be six, but if it's seven, it doesn't even matter. Just foul, just foul out as fast as you can, and then as soon as you foul out or sim out with BC, you will get badge progress, all right? But for the next step, just skip the six minutes and seven seconds into the video so you guys don't have to watch all of this. All right, so now I'm about to load back into the game and I'm about to get two more fouls because like I just said, it does glitch for me and I have to get seven fouls. I don't know why. You guys can even see right here that it's about to say that I fouled out, but I'm still in the game. So all you have to do, if that happens to you, just foul one more time and you will get out the game after seven fouls, but it should be six, all right? But that doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the glitch or anything. So as you can see, after I fouled out or after you sim out with BC, you're going to get progress towards your badges. This is why I say you have to play a regular My Career game and get the best stats that you can so that every time you reload your My Player data, your badges will go up way more than mine did. Only because, one, I played on Pro, and two, I didn't even try in this gameplay. I just did it for the purposes of this video. But I do recommend playing on Hall of Fame in 12-minute quarters because you will get more My Points towards your badges, all right? So after you do this, instead of for most of you guys that already know how to do the glitch, Instead of going to the Gatorade facility and running that treadmill, literally all you have to do is go to the practice facility, all right? All you have to do from here is go to team practice, and that's literally the thing right there. If you're not new to the glitch, then after you do this, all you have to do is reload your data back up and just repeat the process over and over. You do not have to run the treadmill, but if you're new to the glitch, I'm going to still tell you guys how to actually do it like step by step. So after you get into the practice facility, if you have drills, which you get after every single game, you can do the drills. For me, I had four drills, so if I wanted to, I could do like I could do four drills towards my badges, but I didn't want to because like I just I mean I'm doing the glitch, so I don't really need to do that. So all I did was load my data that I just put on the USB back on my PS4. And it's gonna overwrite that data that I just like. It's gonna overwrite my my player basically, and it's gonna it's gonna act like I never actually finished the game. So just load that player data back up to the PS4, as you can see I'm doing right now. And then after you do that, once you go back into 2K and go back into your my player, you're gonna load back into the game. And all you have to do is sim out with VC if you're up by 25. Or in my case, I just got my seventh foul. It, it should only be six fouls, but. Technically, I just fouled out, all right? After I loaded back in, I just fouled out. And then I just repeat that process over and over. Just go to the practice facility. You don't have to run the treadmill. You don't even have to do anything in the practice facility. Just just load into the practice facility and then just load the data back up. And the, just repeat that process and you will keep getting my points towards your badges, all right? That's literally the whole glitch right there. I didn't want to talk that much in the video, so I just told you guys to skip around. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that this glitch still works. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys as of right now. But if you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I also am doing a giveaway at 20,000 subscribers. So if you're new to my channel, all you have to do is like this video, comment down below a system you're in, and subscribe. But I'm not forcing you guys to subscribe. But if you want to subscribe, you'll automatically be entered in the giveaway. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. And I'm out. Peace.